Hello everyone and welcome to Legit or Shit, the gear review setup where we talk about gear in a binary scale. It's either legit or it is shit. Now, today we have some gear from The Wad Life. Uh, full disclosure, they sent this to me for Frizzle. Now, they didn't tell me about what to, what to say about it, so it's, it's up to me to figure that bad boy out. Um, I've got a t couple things, some hand wraps, some wrist wraps, and some knee wraps, if you will. They're not all knee wraps, these are actually knee sleeves. Now, here's what we got. To start with these little hand wraps, well, not hand wraps, they're cloth gymnastics grips. Now, here's the deal. I myself am not a gymnastics grips user because I'm not a heavy person. I don't enjoy using grips because I feel like they get in the way more than they actually protect my hands. That being said, I'm not a very big human either. So I don't weigh very much and my susceptibility to tearing is lower than people who are a little bit heavier than I am or larger than I am. I know a lot of larger athletes love these little grips. Not necessarily my jam, but I have used them before, so I do know what a good one is and what a bad one is. These specific ones are good. Do you know why they're good, or should I say legit? These are legit because these are thin. They're very thin, and they feel nice and smooth. When you have a thick one, it's just too much between you and the bar. You want to be able to hold on to the bar as much as possible, and these thin ones that are very malleable uh, type of leather, are significantly better. So as far as legit or shit on these little hand wraps go, if you use hand wraps, these are legit. Nice and thin, love them a lot. Next, we have wrist wrap skis. Two different kinds. First kind is going to be this bad boy here, which is just your basic kind of stretchy elastic one. The way these work is you put your thumb in, go around, 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 shwink, and then belt that down. Now the deal here is you generally take your thumb out. Some people like to leave it in. I take it out when I'm using it. But uh, the goal here is to actually put the wrap around the uh, wrist joint. So rather than going and wrapping around below, you wrap around the actual section there because what we're trying to do is take some of the pressure off when you lean back on it. It's going to put it into this rather than directly into the wrist. Now, for the most part, you do want to get stronger wrists, but sometimes it's a great idea to wear these bad boys, especially as you go heavier, or you're doing something wide grip with an overhead position like an overhead squat or a heavy snatch. Uh, these are legit. These are fully legit. They're not too long, not too short, uh, easy to strap on, and it's, it's stylistic whether or not, apparently it's time, a stylistic whether or not you like the... Uh, the stretchy band versus with a little bit of elastic in there versus the next one I'm going to show you. So wrap it around there, wrap it all the way down, easy peasy. So legit on those bad boys. Legit. Next ones we have are the cloth ones. Now these cloth ones, some people love them, some people hate them. The idea here is basically you hold on with your hand here, wrap around, do a very similar thing except this one has no give to it. There's no stretchiness to it. So then you take the little string, you go around one time, stuff it under, and then maybe even stuff it under one again. Every time I do that, I always forget which direction I went on the first one, and I, sometimes I undo it. And then you can basically uh, rope burn your way down to where it's a tighter or looser strap. Now, these are great for one rep maxes in my mind. I really love the stiffness of these for if I'm going for like one all out effort. Uh, but when you're using something like this, you can't really take them off and on. You can't like really rapidly undo them. If you untwist, it will come off a bit and it'll come looser, but it's not that efficient for like mid-workout doing stuff. If you're mid-workout and you're, you're adjusting your straps, you're going from there, I suggest using the last one I had, the more elastic-y one. These, however, for one rep maxes are legit. Um, there's not too much of a difference in the different brands of these. These ones specifically, Good solid material, doesn't have any give, legit. That's candy, dude. You can't eat candy. Candy's gross. Let's talk knee sleeves now. So we've got a couple of larges uh, in the knee sleeve. And we have, uh, this is an elbow sleeve, a knee sleeve, a knee sleeve. They gave me a large elbow sleeve. I'm not gonna really be able to comment on whether or not the fit and feel of these is legit. I don't know when you would wear an elbow sleeve unless you're a hulking human being who's doing a lot of pressing. 
um, I would look deeper and see, hey, why do I need an elbow sleeve? Uh, what is going on inside my body that requires me to have an elbow sleeve uh, rather than just sliding something on and ignoring it? That being said, should you need to keep these joints warm and you're maybe a power lifter or something along those lines, elbow sleeves might be legit. As far as this material goes, this does not have very much give at all. Um, actually, has a little, but not much at all. But the idea is basically you're sliding this on your elbow. Oh, that's the wrong way. Sliding this on your elbow. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe I'm larger than I thought. And it is helping take some of the strain out of your elbow when it is bent. So when you're pressing overhead something really heavy or doing handstand push-ups, whatever it may be, I think personally elbow sleeves are a bit of a joke. Um, that's just me. Uh, some people love them. Once again, all of this stuff is just my opinion. So as, as far as elbow sleeves in general, I'm going to say shit. But as far as elbow sleeves go, this is a good material. It's a solid little sleeve. So I'm going to say legit as far as elbow sleeves go. Shit as far as the actual mechanic of that uh, tool is. Unless, of course, if you have an injury, in which case those are a, a good supplemental thing to keep them warm. As far as these two knee sleeves go, you've got two different kinds here. Both in the size LG, that's the large one. We have one that's a little bit more neoprene and one that's the same deal as the uh, elbow sleeves we have. Basically, we're looking at more of like a powerlifting style that's a little bit more constricting. constricting. And then we're looking at more of like an only lifting and CrossFit style, which is a little bit more stretchy and springy. I personally like these because they're not as invasive to me. Uh, but some people love these. They even love power or Olympic lifting in these because it really compresses the knee and holds it into place. They're not necessarily made for as dynamic movement. You're going to notice that the inside of these and the way these kind of sit, these might move around a little bit more because they don't have as much give. So as the knee goes to give or you move around, it'll probably slide down. Whereas these bad boys right here, quite a bit stretchier so they can sit around the joint a little bit more and keep it warm. Knee sleeves are basically used in an effort to make it so your knees, A, stay warm, and B, stay compressed. Uh, some people absolutely live and die by knee sleeves. I think that you should be trying to get away from using gear. That's my personal opinion on training. But I think of all things, if you are a little bit older or you have sports history uh, where you have injuries in your knees and or you're a little bit arthritic, like... Things with the knees, if they're warmer, they perform better. Uh, I've worn knee sleeves for years. If you're competing or you're doing lunges, knee sleeves are legit. Um, I can't say I have too much experience uh, doing a lot of powerlifting in knee sleeves, uh, specifically these powerlifting style knee sleeves. They're a lot of compression for me, whereas these more Olympic lifting style and CrossFit style, I, I, I tend to enjoy. I cannot really comment on these, so I... I, I, I I can't say whether or not they're legit or shit in the powerlifting world, but they do feel nice. Nice stiff material, not quite sure what it is, but uh, it would be great to do a Wonder Max back squat in these, basically. These bad boys I would use for my more workouts, also legit. Uh, I'm a fan of going slightly smaller on my knee sleeves, so these ones are too big for me. These are large. I would go towards a medium or a small even, and then just adjust them as I'm going through workouts because... I like a ton of compression in there. Well, that's my uh, camera breaking on me. So, uh, yeah. That was this episode of Legit or Shit. We've got some legits. And we actually didn't really have any shit today. Good job, the wildlife.